Welcome back to our Caribbean container house build. In this episode, we do a lot of completing, small things mainly. Stickies. That's what's going on today. Salute! Alright, so staircase is being fabricated. Casted porch and one of the steps that we have already manufactured to go down. Alrighty, keep up. First step to go up is actually the second step, funnily enough. Uh, one foot wide, roughly, by ten foot long. Yeah, so five more to go. Just a view of the backyard from a different direction. Looking at the neighbor's house there. Hey, look, there's the house. Yeah, this is a little corner area. Close to the ravine. All fenced off the doggies. And like that, five out of six steps are up. Magic of camera work. Yeah, it just happened. All leveled themselves and welded themselves into the space. Yeah, so one more to go. Wire, steel, usual story, and cement. Five out of six steps. One's been wired and well, not wired, but steel running it. Have to wire it up still. Uh, yeah, and. Well, there's fresh cement on the next extension of the porch. So that's all nice and curing, nice and wet today. Get a little bit stronger. Eastern side, storeroom. So that they can put the door for the storeroom and cast on top. Top stand and plumbing. And the staircase. One day old and already walking on it. Still one more step to go on it. Right, so basic plumb up run. Our lines basically around the house, all the way to the kitchen. We have everything plumbed for the pump to get water from the tanks. Just have to move that tank over, run it in line, hook it up, and we should be able to get water to this line over here, which will then run to the pump on top of the pump stand, feed the water heater, and give us pressured water with hot water back to these lines. Alright, so kitchen sink, um, washing and garden tap, plumbed. Just completed all the plumbing, so, well, the PVC plumbing and everything else, so just to connect the tanks to the pump, test the system, make sure we have no leaks, otherwise you have to break down the board from the pressure laid concrete tomorrow and stretch it over the rest of the storeroom that way we can cast on Monday so I have to do the storeroom door as well so garden tap run all plumbing to the bathroom is run plumbing to the pump is run and <coughs> feed lines in the kitchen from the tanks etc all run so the railing for the staircase which now is functional we have to cast it either tomorrow or Monday but yeah railing a scope on the other side side of the kitchen island painted to match the other wall opposite it and the football painted nice and black to the industrial look. So all the tanks are now in place. Just have to plumb the last one in line and get all the valves set up. Otherwise, 
These are the kitchen shelves and excess wood I bought today. It's Oliver. Um, some very nice cuts except for a little crack here and there, but we're going to make it work. Different view of the staircase railings that have just been completed. As I say, wiring finished. All the steel is up. Just need to put the wood to finish it off and then we'll cast it up. And there's the rest of the porch that was just cast. It. And today, the porch extends, well, we're going to set up for the extension. So make this nice and solid, put the wood, put the steel, get ready for cement. set up for tomorrow wood we just have to fill in the gaps with some um, pieces of bag and yeah casting tomorrow hopefully pump still to be plumbed but two trips from the house so far and yeah this is all just storage room stuff just to leave in the bedroom until we have space so while the porch is going to be casted, I am going to cut some grass because we're going to make a lawn out of this before we plant up some trees. And cutting grass. This is not even one tank of the lawn more until I was disturbed, but yeah, made a decent little dent. So most of the paper is in place, uh, casting is going to happen this morning, cement's being sorted and mixed. We're just doing the little touch-ups here and there before we start to pour cement. Concrete. Alright, so it's the first set of concrete going down on the porch extension to complete over the storage. So we've got more to go. Mm-hmm, mucho salsa. <laughs> More complete. Professional. Ah, sí, mucho, mucho professional photograph. <laughs> A little bit more finished on the porch, making it nice and smooth again. So the new extension on the porch, completing the entire roof of the storeroom and completing the concrete for the porch for the time being, has finished. Now it's just a staircase and some more work outside. You yeah, know how it goes. <laughs> Putting on the finishing touches on the porch, making it all nice and smooth, suave. Sealing off the roof to make sure that no water gets onto the porch from the gap between the roof and the porch roof. Uh, flash pan, and we're gonna seal it a little bit more after with some resin. Backyard view from the top. 
of the porch roof that is so yeah that's what the cut backyard looks like preparing to cast the stairs and the walkway and the little barbecue concrete area so this will be the barbecue concrete area to the left uh -huh. It's a lot of shit. Iron concrete. Uh, so we're doing for the barbecue area or right there. Uh, landing and we just covered the first step to give some more structural integrity for the staircase. So backyard view after it's been cut. A little view of the house from the outside because you know I don't like to show it off too much until it's complete. And yeah. I'll have to clean up some more but that's how it goes. Not sure if you could see it, but some of the condensation on the roof. That's why we have to insulate the roof with the oil foil product to basically reduce condensation from dripping down onto gypsum or anything else on the porch. It happens every single morning due to the temperature changes in the country, tropical climate and whatnot, and of course the humidity. So yeah, the pump is in, it's plumbed, we're just waiting for the glue to set before we run through the entire system and make sure we have no major leaks or any leaks hopefully at all. Other than that, the storeroom door is officially constructed and in, we just have to paint it up and make it nice and solid and lock it down. Yep, that's the toilet filling by itself, using nothing but the pump and tanks from outside. It's a great day. So the, the porch is nice and solid, still have to cast the staircase, still have a few more things to touch up inside, otherwise, yeah, we should be moving in pretty soon. So AC will be installed tomorrow, I'm basically completing this room except the blinds, then we can just furnish it, grease up the door a little bit. Have to adjust the mirror still, paint over that, you know how it goes, and yeah, everything else is working plumb and whatnot. 
pump frame still needs to be done so we move the pump inside for security purposes even though I think it's pretty safe otherwise we still have a few adjustments to make on it to make sure it works properly the door is set down there so we should have a little cleaning up and then we can store stuff inside so again the condensation on the roof today isn't that bad but it has been a lot worse when temperatures have been cooler and we've had more moisture in the air so that's why we're going to do the um, insulation working on the air conditioner install finishing the gate for the pump and uh, finish plumbing the pump that's the plan this morning so far yep. air conditioning being installed as I speak so yeah guest bedroom cool so just have to tidy up the wire and seal up the outside hole but it's a pretty decent install of a 12,000 BTU unit got it for a good price and installed it all in one so yeah I'd say this room is almost complete hopefully by the end of today guest bedroom should be done air condition for the guest bedroom installed and working properly just have to do a little tidying up seal up the hole and whatnot but that's done and the pump is in its proper cage that's plumbed up everything's working it's pressure it's pressuring the system holding the system with pressure and well it's cutting off properly so we have no problems again so the original plastic valve that was supplied with the toilet basically as i knew it was a waste of time and started leaking within the first three flushes so i changed it out for a proper brass valve reused the float because it was a bigger float than the valve came with preemptively changed the guest bathroom as well to a brass proper valve we reused the float again because it is a good float but the valve was utter crap from Berkeley original so yeah brass all the way might not be able to make it out from here but my gate is being soldered up so the dogs can't get out underneath and we're just fixing up that section of road so again secure for doggies and this is Jorge just jamming out painting some white down here in the storeroom looks nice and clean and the pump is good and secure now all locked up So this is what the porch is looking like today because we're doing a major cleanup, finishing up as much as we can inside for a move in. And the Dewalt drill decides to start throwing sparks out and smoking, so that has to go to check the warranty and whatnot and repair on Monday, unfortunately. So oh, master bedroom is full of stuff as you can see, finally put up the blinds, still have to put in the AC, still have to put up the mirror, we fixed the plumbing issue, everything else is working properly as we expected. The DeWalt screwdriver burned out on its site this afternoon, that's like less than six months old, maybe even less than that, so we couldn't put up the kitchen doors, but we did do a general clean up and put up the blinds in the living room and TV stand and whatnot a little bit of welding going on out there still tested working everything is up to mark in the guest bedroom bathroom area just need to clean it out before we start sorting it out and filling it up blinds up air condition everything is lubricated and ready to go had to hold the progress on the kitchen shelves because again the DeWalt drill died on us so we didn't get to put them up like we're intending to. Kitchen needs a little bit more work but it's almost livable so we should be moving in very soon. So kitchen shelves being fabricated. Still have to do a lot of work on them and get some more pieces. That's just two of them. We have two more to fabricate. And 
Sí. So yeah, this is walking inside the house after we gave it a little clean up. We just clip up the blinds, TV stand against the wall, clean up the porch. But stripping and all molding, still have to do the doors. Yeah, kitchen work. Nice and clean. Bed in the master bedroom. Master bathroom. Yep. All of our stuff almost. Hopefully we have a little sorting again there. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and share for more as we continue building our Caribbean container house.